Let's tie a simple beaded squirmy worm. I'm going to start with a size 10 barbless egg hook from I Love Fly Fishing and onto that I have put a orange tungsten bead. It's not a slotted bead, it's a normal bead of 3.5 mil. And I'm just going to put that back. I'm going to use orange thread. This is orange Vivas power thread. And I'm going to come to about the middle of the shank of the hook and just attach my thread with a couple of wraps. Snip it off. Then I'm going to move that bead forward and I'm going to start a figure of eight underneath the bead. So what I want the bead to do is sit up with the hole up above and then I'm just going to figure of eight that underneath. Figure of eight that underneath so I get the bead standing up. So the hole is above the shank and that's it. I'm going to We'll finish that off. Okay, I'm going to snip that off. Now what I have is a loop of copper wire. I'm going to stick that through the eye of, through the hole of the bead. Take it out the other side and I'm going to open up the loop, open it up a reasonable amount. Then I'm going to snip off a section of squirmy worm material. I'm going to stick the very tip of that squirmy worm material into the loop of copper wire, squash it down so it's held in, in there, and then I'm going to just pull it through the bead. So you just need to figure out the size of the bead that works best. And that's it. The squirmy worm material is in there, the bead is attached, and that will work perfectly. Super easy, super simple, very quick. And if you want to make it a little bit stronger, you can just add a dab of super glue underneath onto that thread. You can use any bead you want. You don't have to use a tungsten bead. I use this for uranymphing in the winter, so it's a nice and heavy bead and you can use a plastic bead, you can use a brass bead, whatever works for you and the weight you want the fly to be. If you found that useful, why not watch another one? Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.